Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna go over five of, that's 10, five of the worst Gucci bags, in my opinion, that you can buy today. Now you guys know I've been doing this with pretty much every single brand, so don't think that I'm coming after Gucci today, even though I feel like I'm kind of coming after Gucci today. Honestly, I have to say Gucci is probably one of my least favorite luxury houses. Like in general, I don't feel like their collections or like the things that they come out with really speak to me the way that some of the other brands do. <laughs> Hell. So that's probably why you're gonna feel like I'm attacking Gucci today, but really everyone has their own personal style So Gucci just just really isn't mine, but if it is yours, then that's cool I did make a video already of five great Gucci bags that you can purchase So I'll link that video right up here. Gucci has some good stuff. I'm not saying all of Gucci's bad But the next five things I'm gonna talk about are, are not my favorite <laughs> So if you guys want to know which five bags from Gucci I think are the worst that you can buy right now Then please just keep on watching But wait, you already know what I'm going to say If you're not already subscribed, turn yourself I post on Wednesdays and on Sundays at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time And I feel like you're going to be here when I do If you like luxury, you like handbags, you like fashion You like Gucci Maybe you don't like Gucci. I feel like this is definitely where you're going to want to be. So you should subscribe if you're not already. And you should follow me over on Instagram if you're not already. It's just the K Danger. I post every single day over there. Every day is a real outfit of the day. Some random shit on stories. We post a lot over there. We post a lot. So you should definitely follow me over there if you're not already. And with all that out of the way, let's jump into the video. I already gave you my disclaimer, so I'm not going to do it again. But just... Just try not to throw things at your screen as I talk about these bags, okay? So, let me move over so we can talk about the first bag, which is gonna be the Gucci Blondie Top Handle Bag. There's a couple of reasons that I feel like this bag needs to be avoided by pretty much everybody that is on the planet Earth, and this is why. I feel like this looks like a lunchbox, like an actual lunchbox. Not only that, but am I crazy in feeling like the Gigi logo on the front of this bag is just like, weird like it's like a puffy version of the regular Gigi logo i like the Gigi logo the one that's like the, the one that's on this bag but in the regular version not like the puffy style that this is i don't feel like this is a classic style whatsoever i feel like it's so casual that you can really only wear this to go like to the grocery store that's pretty much the only place i just did something to the lighting i don't know if it made it better worse i i don't know but hopefully something looks good so anyways the strap on this bag is removable which is obviously a plus but at the same time when you take the strap off i feel like it gives it even more of a lunchbox vibe i don't know i don't know about you guys i don't know if you see it but for me like i feel like i should just get this bag give it to alana and send her off with her lunchables because otherwise what are we gonna do with this i also don't understand why there's stripes on this bag like who decided that we needed to have stripes on the bag like stripes and not even like this or like this, like they're diagonal. Why are there diagonal stripes on a bag? The next bag that I wanna talk about is the Gigi Madalaze top handle bag. I know I butchered that name. You don't have to tell me. I know I said that wrong, but it's this, this is the bag, this is the one. I really don't like these vanity style bags. Like I, I don't know like why we're still coming out with these. I feel like that was a trend a couple of years back and now it's like 2023 and we're still coming out with these for some reason and i don't i don't understand why a lot of people don't realize when you're opening these bags you have to go around which is not the most difficult thing to do but when you're closing it back up like it's gonna take you five hours it's gonna like minimum five hours and it's gonna stress you out that opening is not gonna be very user friendly and i really don't like it this is just giving me like this is my actual makeup bag but I'm putting a strap on it. I also really don't like how the chain is just like coming out of the middle of the bag. Like it just looks like there's just a black hole with just like a chain coming out of it. And it's like, it, it doesn't look appealing to me. I know this does come in a lot of colors, but for me, it's really, it's a miss. It's a miss. I also really, I'm just gonna keep naming things I don't like about this bag. I also really don't like the GG just all over the bag. Like I like that GG logo, like I already said, but does it have to be all over the bag and then we're mixing it with the Marmont logo? Like that just feels, that feels like a lot. I don't really, I don't think this is, I don't think this is one to get. Uh, that's just I don't think it is now shifting to a bag that actually has the GG canvas print all over it Let's talk about the Ophidia GG mini shoulder bag. I think I got that name, right? But as you know, it's gonna be here anyways This bag is a little bit more pricey than the last bag that we talked about and it is in canvas which obviously has leather trims and stuff but that is a little strange to me that it's a little bit more expensive and it doesn't look like it's significantly bigger than the previous bag. I don't really like this bag at all and my main gripe with it, and I mean main, like when I saw this bag, I was like, eh. But this one thing really just took her over the edge for me is the lock on the front. Like, I feel like this is trying to be the Pachette Matisse. Like, 
it wants to be the Pachette Matisse so bad, even with the price point, like it's creeping up to Pachette Matisse territory. And that's obviously why they put that lock on the front. It's that like S lock where, you know, you go like that and then it's like that. You know what I'm talking about. They put that lock on the front. They put a very similar handle as the Pachette Matisse, like on top, that like skinny little top handle. I understand that that's what you were trying to do, but to me, this failed. It just doesn't look like a luxury bag to me. I feel like that S-lock throws the entire bag off. Like if that S-lock was not there, I think it would have given a much better vibe. I don't know if it's because you have the Gucci web stripes on it that's making it look like it's too much, but it really is just not it's not giving me what I think they was trying to give me. Again, I really don't like the mixture of the Marmont logo and the other like Gucci logo. I don't know what the different logos are called. I know the Marmont logo and then the other logo. So I don't like the mixture of the two. I feel like we could have stuck with one and that would have been a little bit better. This chain strap is not removable. So really you don't have any options. Not that I would want to carry this only by the top handle anyway, but it's also nice to have the option. I just don't Listen, Gucci has a lot of nice bags, and if you wanted the Gucci print and the Gucci web, there are a lot of nice options out there for you. Like I said, watch the five bags that I recommend from Gucci if you're looking for something, but this is just not the one. This is not the one. Now, if you guys saw my five best Gucci bags video that I have spoken about about 17 times since we started today's video, you guys know that I mentioned the Diana bag, and I love that bag. I stand by that. I think it's a beautiful bag. However, this version of the Diana bag is not it. This is the Diana small shoulder bag. I am confused. I am confused. I am so confused. I'm hoping you guys are also like, can we, can we be confused? Look at it. Can we be confused together? This bag to me, it just makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Like not even a touch of sense. Like it, why do we have this very structured and I mean very like extremely structured to the point where you can barely move it bamboo top handle on a hobo bag that is like supposed to slouch on top of that, on top of that, you're supposed to be putting this like rigid literally rigid bamboo handle on your shoulder okay wait i stand corrected you're not supposed to put the bamboo handle on your shoulder you're not supposed to do that instead it has a bright red strap i'm looking at a white version obviously it has a bright red strap on a white bag that is a it's almost worse it's almost worse i really also don't like hobo bags at all and the shape of this one is just not like there is just something wrong like i look at this and i am just i'm unhappy i'm unhappy and i don't know if it's the opening because the opening is literally just like th this is the leather and you just kind of do one of those you know like that and it just sags down and then you have your super structured bamboo handle on top and then your bright red shoulder strap like what who made this design i really want to talk to you whoever it was was it you was it you because i want to talk to you if it was and my last pick i feel like is probably the one that's going to get people the most upset because i feel like i've actually seen a good amount of people on youtube at least that i follow talk about this bag in a positive way and so i'm sorry but the aphrodite shoulder bag is just my one of my least favorite things first of all this bag is giving the jackie bag but like her bootleg younger sister okay it has the marmont logo as we've already discussed how much i don't like that logo but it's on the bag and then you have the little flap that goes over the bag which actually i will say that the flap on this bag is more secure than the flap on the jackie but in my opinion the jackie looks infinity times better than this one if i saw this out on the street i would think oh that's supposed to be looking like a Jackie. Like that's like a fake Jackie. That's what I, that's my mind would immediately go there. I wouldn't think, oh, there's the Aphrodite shoulder. I would think. That's a fake ass Jackie is what it is. If you wanted something that looks like this, why wouldn't you go for the Jackie? The Jackie is classic. It's timeless. It is just gorgeous in my opinion. I, this, <laughs> this, this is none of those things. This is just like a piece of leather with a GG on it. And then it's like, all right. See ya. Now, honestly, because of how I feel about Gucci in general, I could have added a bunch more bags to this list. Like, if I'm being, I could have added a bunch of more bags, a bunch more of, a bunch. I could have added more bags, is what I'm trying to say. But these are the five that stood out to me the most. What do you guys think about my picks? What do you think about my comments on each bag? Definitely let me know in the comments. I know probably some of you, or maybe most of you, don't agree with the picks that I had. If you have some bags that you think would be worse than some of the ones that I talked about today, definitely let me know that in the comments as well. If you have any of these bags and you think that they're like incredible, let me know. L let me know. Whatever you want, let me know. Just let me know, as long as you do it nicely. 
But that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did like it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I post every single day over there. And that's all I have to say. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. I've been eating all day today. And this is my lunch break. And I'm using it to do this. So I'm starving today. <laughs>